In this video, we're going to work with Chart.js and we will start to explore how to create a stack bar chart in Chart.js. So to do this, we will have a very blank template here. As you can see here, there's a blank template with the letters of test or the word test in here. This is our HTML file we will be working on. What we will do first is create a bootstrap template with a background of green or any color you prefer. We will create a card structure in the center here based in a div of column 8. And in that card structure we will put in our canvas ID where the chart will be eventually displayed from here. Alright, so to do this we need to get first the bootstrap template and we insert that into our HTML file. Go to getbootstrap.com or any any design you prefer, but in our case, it's getbootstrap.com, and I'm using 5.0. Scroll down somewhere halfway through. You will see here, at, if you aren't getting started, at the introduction, you will see here somewhere the starter template. Press on this button here to copy everything. And once we copy this, or once we press that, we just paste this all in here. Once we paste it in here, we can remove all of this data in here. We remove this data and then I'm just going to remove all of this as well, all the excess baggage. And in here, we can change this to chart.js. And what we're going to do here is first give it a background color. So we say here the body, class, bg, success. All right. And then in here, we create a div. And in this div, we will make a column. And in this column, which will have a column of 8 by having two or an offset of 2. And within that div column, we will put in our card. So let's put in here the div class. And then we type in here, call number 8. And then we put in the offset, number 2. And what we can do is a margin up and down. So margin y, number 5. Once we did that, we can close this div tag. And between here, we will type again. Say a div class. And in here we will start to build a card. So what will be our card? Well, basically it's the card class. And in here we have another div, and that's the card body. So it's a div class card body. And there we are. So in here we'll just put in some text. We can say here a stack bar chart in chart.js. And after that, I'll just put a horizontal line here at the, in the bottom. And in here, I'll just type in canvas because this will be where our canvas will be stored. Save this, go back here, and let's check our, and our HTML file, refresh this, and now we have a very nice stack bar chart design or bootstrap template with a card in here. All right, so now we're done with the first part. Let's go to the next part, which is the chart.js itself. So we're going to put in the chart.js. We're going to get the installation here. And basically, we can copy all of this. But what I want to do is I want to copy this. And later on, we will adjust the ID. And put it in here where we indicated it. All right. And we can just remove all of this. This is all access. No need. Because we, had a, because we have uh, set a width or height basically due to the card. The card body will define the height and the width of the canvas. And this here can be called bar chart as in canvas ID. And in here now we're going to get the script or the JavaScript related to the bar chart. And you can see here, this is a bar chart, so we can just copy this, this is fine. And what we will do here is we just put it here at the bottom and I'll put it in the tab and paste this in here, all right? So we have an indentation here, there we are. So now we can and of the chart.js library in here. So to do that, we just go to chart.js uh, website again back and we can go here to getting started. And in here, you can see they already have the script ready. And what their script is here is from 2.8.0. However, the most updated version is currently 2.9.4. So we can just readjust that. So we copy all of this. Put it in here, and once we are in here, we adjust this to 2.9.4, all right? So once we did that, save this, 
go back here and refresh now we have this you can see something is not showing up and the reason why so let me check here and most likely it will be related to this one here we have this canvas id with the bar chart or the canvas with the id name of bar chart and that is of course not matching with the document dot get element by id my chart so let's put it in here save this then refresh and now it starts to look beautifully it displays it well so how can we add up a stack bar chart so to do this we can go here and we can start to explore here in the in the documentation click here on bar and in here we scroll down somewhere halfway through or somewhere close to the end let's scroll down that's the horizontal bar no here we have the stack bar so what we can do here you can see the focus here is on the scales and in the scales we have the x-axis we have stacked through and the y-axis as well stacked through so what we're going to do here is we're not going to copy it we just go in here and we have here our information already the options and then we have the scales and in the scales we have the y-axis already indicating here so what i want to do here in the y-axis we're going to put in here stacked and then column true comma let me say x axis let me say here again stacked true and then we can save this once we save this go back here and go back to our uh, template refresh you can see here now all right there's something going on that is not working according unexpected identifier stack true so we can double check here what are we not recognizing we can also check it here is in the x-axis in the scales are we out of the scales as you can see here what are we missing missing this one all right that's correct Stacked is true. UI axis stack is true. Let's double check here. What am I missing here? Are we missing the scales? Uh, y axis stack. So eventually, what's the real issue? This comma most likely. So let's save this. And the reason why you need a comma. Comma indicates that there's still another value related here. And if you can see here, this is a tick. And if you would see it more clear, if we put it like this, you will see that there is basically another value in here. So we have to indicate that value. Let's save that. Go back in here, refresh. And now you can see we have them here, but they're still not stacked. So what's going on here? Let's make sure we have everything correct. This is the ticks, the y axis, the x axis. This is true. So why are we not stacked? Let's go back here. What are we missing here? Are we in the scales? The y-axis stacked. True. Now, all right. So and then after checking, of course, the reason why it doesn't stack makes sense. There is no other value to stack it on. So what do we need to do? Well, basically, we can add up. A new value so I'm going to copy this we're going to add up a new data set and this data set will indicate a new set of values to stack on each other and then what I'm going to do is to make sure that we can see that we're going to change the colors here so I'm going to change this and I'll make this 99 and I'm going to make this 200 and then I'll make this 50 50 and we're going to make this also 50 and this one will be 50 and this one will be 200 this will be 255 and this will be 55 all right so we have this and then what we're going to do we're going to do exactly the same here i'm going to change this again 99 25 50 all right so here 255 
Photo 50 50 and 50 and these were minimal in adjustments all right so we've got all this let's save this and as we refresh now as you can see we now stack the values all on each other together neatly and this is basically how you can create a stack bar chart where you use the stack it's the scales focus on the y-axis here and on the x-axis indicating that they're stacked so if we say this is false false save this refresh now they are beside each other and this will be a way this is quite useful to have if you want to show certain values so if you like videos like this and you want to know more subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this video just put them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i'll get back to you